welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new i'm Eliandra and welcome to the first part of let's play the big sister challenge with a twist excited to finally be starting a new let's play slash challenge we are starting the big sister challenge but we've changed it up a little bit so we've got a lot of mods customized worlds a storyline and also as you can see there is two little sisters and not just one and we're also in an apartment not in oasis spring so i'm gonna explain it all to you guys and i'm so excited to just get started with this and i hope you guys will really enjoy this series because i have put a lot of work into it I guess I should start off by telling you guys how these girls ended up here without their parents. So, their parents are actually in jail. They were caught for fraud and they have been put away for a long time and the Shepherd girls were going to be put into foster care since Lola is still a teenager, but Lola couldn't let that happen. So she pretty much took her sisters, told them to bag a few bags. She knew where her parents had some money stashed and they ran off into a new city. They're kind of running away from the police in a way that they definitely cannot get caught by them because they would be put into the foster care system and that is just that is not a good place to be so Lola wants to take care of her two younger siblings who she loves with all her heart by herself and she managed to get them this old kind of a crappy apartment and they brought some things with them and the rest of them she just found on some flea markets on the way here but after spending all that money in this apartment, they currently have zero simoleons. They don't even have enough money to pay the rent. So Lola needs to get working on something. She needs a plan to be able to raise her little sisters to responsible young adults. The twin girls are still kind of confused of everything that has happened. I think they are a little bit too young to understand. And Lola here, she grew up idolizing her parents. She absolutely adored her parents. She had no idea what they had gotten themselves into. She had no idea they were doing anything criminal. So once she found out her world pretty much shattered, she's going to have a really hard time trusting anyone and they're not going to be talking to any adults or elders. That is part of the rules as well. So she she doesn't she doesn't trust any elders and with them running away from the police, the only people that they can talk to will be other teenagers and kids. But Lola is a sweet, kind of a shy girl and she's definitely going to be battling with some trust issues right now but she, her main job right now is to find a way to make them some money. I'm not sure she's going to be able to get an actual job but we will be working with gardening, painting, all that kind of stuff to raise some money for them. I want to look into the new gardening career and with the new whole gardening update I want to explore that in this challenge. This here is Haley. She is the more wild one out of the two twins. I feel like she might be getting into some trouble, especially once twins age up into teenagers. She will be causing us some trouble. She's wild. She doesn't really believe in Lola's authority. So yeah, she's gonna be a handful. And this here is Avery. She's kind of the opposite of Haley. She is a really sweet, innocent child. She just wants to do anything she can to help Lola. I'm sure she's going to be joining the Girl Scouts and just helping around the house and trying to do well in school and making the best out of a bad situation. So yeah, that is their backstory. I'm just gonna let them uh, play out this Sunday while I just talk to you guys about the rest of the stuff. Here is their apartment. I built this for the channel. I posted that video about a week ago. It was called the Big Sister Apartment. I changed it up a teeny tiny little 
fit for the my like specific family but i still like them to have a cute apartment i think it's super boring to play in like a very bare minimalistic apartment i wanted them to have some kind of nice stuff but still make it look like you know it's not perfect they don't have a lot of money this was like decorated by a teenager we have like scratches on the wall a pretty bad kitchen appliances like this is the worst stove and fridge we have the worst microwave as well no dishwasher they have kind of mismatchy furniture as well and this is kind of a living room area with no tv so we might get that in the future but i didn't want to start off with one because i thought that would be a little bit too much <laughs> i don't know what she's doing uh it's kind of a mess here already they literally got here last night okay sims game being a little bit buggy maybe there isn't enough space to walk there <laughs> i'm not really sure and then they're supposed to have an office so that is right here with just the table here uh this used to have an easel in this corner and the flower arranging table here but i deleted them i figured we shouldn't start with them we can get them once we have enough money to purchase them but currently where did we get 160 simoleons what i have no idea how we have 160 simoleons we're supposed to have zero <laughs> i don't know where that just came from very interesting well now they have zero simoleons but yeah we can add those in here later here is the twins bedroom it's uh i just added an another bed since my speed belt i took away the door here because it was just taking a lot of space and then here is lola's room i changed the color scheme up a little bit to suit her a little bit more she has got this like hippie bohemian girly vibe going on and then you can enter the balcony from here which just has um the laundry what is this called like wash tub and then the hanging line clothes hanging line and then obviously she needs to be doing some gardening and then here is their bathroom this apartment does need some tlc so as you can see we're gonna have some issues with like faulty wiring and leaking pipes and cockroaches and whatever oh they're so cute oh my gosh but yeah this is their apartment but anyways in the rules it does say you're supposed to live in a 20 by 15 um lot in oasis springs and you're only supposed to use like seven thousand simoleons um furnishing it i did a little bit more hold on what are you doing Haley? i also have a mod that um allows her to already learn parenting i have a bunch of mods which i'm gonna tell you guys about but she can already learn the parenting skill even though she is a teenager so i'm just gonna tell her ask her to not make a mess there we go ask not to make a mess Right, I was talking about the rules. Yeah, you're supposed to live in a tiny lot in Oasis Springs, but I just wanted to change the rules up a little bit to suit my gameplay a little bit better. So we are in the Spice District in San Myshuno. Yep, she reached parenting level one and they just became good friends apparently. Um, Can you clean this up as well? That would be really nice. Maybe we should have Avery clean it up since she's supposed to be like really helpful around the house. Um, the only other rules in this challenge pretty much are that you start with zero simoleons and the big sister is supposed to be making money. She is not allowed to go to school, so she can have a part-time job, but she can also make money other ways. And the lifespan is long, so how many days do they have until they age up? 52 days! All right, we'll be here a while. Is it the same? That's interesting. I didn't think it would be the same or kids and teens, but apparently it is. So 52 days, then it's gonna be everybody's birthday. And the last rule was to just not be allowed to talk to any adults or elders. So we're only allowed to interact with other teenagers and children. So those are the rules. We are currently in spring. So this is my first let's play with seasons. I decided to start off with spring. It is day one of seven, sunny and cool today. And oh gosh, why are they hugging so weird? Let's just talk about a few mods that I have installed. I have a bunch, obviously I have MC Command Center, I have UI Cheats, but then I also have like a bunch of things like your kids can now walk dogs, because I think we're gonna get a puppy in this series. I think that would be adorable. Look at them, they're so cute, picture. <laughs> And then I have the explore mod, we can go exploring. I just have a bunch of things that I found. I have the first love mod, which I'm so excited to explore. That means children can actually get crushes and like tell them, and it's just adorable. They can get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, which I think is very sweet. 
I also downloaded reshade so as you can see my game looks a little bit brighter and sharper I can show you guys what it looks like without reshade so this is me turning reshade off seasons really messed up with the lighting settings I think this looks really bad so for the series we're gonna be using reshade let me know in the comments if you like this setting that I have currently for reshade I just think it's like really nice and crisp and colorful and I think it looks great and it really suits the whole theme of kit and this bright apartment excuse me Haley, didn't i just tell you to not do that do you i told you she really does not care for our authority excuse me discipline reason we're gonna be strict now oh no i don't want to yell i do not think lola would be the type of girl to start yelling at her sister <laughs> that is one massive bear oh my goodness okay Come on, come on, Haley, you can stop this. And Avery, you can come clean this up later as well. So I know I mentioned custom worlds before, and by that I mean I have added in a lot of new lots from the gallery. We have so many new places replacing the old community lots. Some of them I built and some of them are from the gallery. I cannot wait to go like actually visit them and just like explore all the different new lots. I, I put so many in, I spent hours just customizing this world. But what I need now is I need some sims for this world. I am tired of the same townies always like walking down the street i want some new sims and i would love to use your guys' sims so i am looking for a bunch of teenagers and children obviously to be friends with our sims here they do need some parents in the families because i don't think it's that realistic that every child and teen is living out on their own so if you guys want to make some families that i can put in this world i would love it so make sure that they include teenagers or children and hopefully parents as well and put them in the gallery under the hashtag for Eliandra. So that all together, hashtag for Eliandra. I will be looking under the hashtag and, put, and filling all these worlds with your guys' sims so we can see them walking around the neighborhoods and interacting with our sims. I would ask you guys to not use a lot of CC, uh, mainly just uh items from any of the packs i have all the packs just if you guys use cc that i don't have and i download your sims they will be all naked and you know bold so i would rather <laughs> they already had clothes on so you can use a few items that you've seen me use before but i would rather that you didn't use cc but I have put a bunch of cafes, gyms, spas, a lot of restaurants, new libraries, all those kind of community lots, a uh, roller skating park. There is everything in this world and I'm just so, so excited for it. I also added some new holidays. I really haven't played with seasons yet. So I've heard there are some like pop-up holidays that will just come out of nowhere for your calendar. But I did add just a few new ones. We have the spring extravaganza, so kind of like Easter coming up on Wednesday uh, I'm playing with where the seasons are seven days we can change it later if you guys think I should do that but I just wanted to start off with seven days per season so we could go through all of them since it's my first time and then I added the midsummer event these are from my 10 must-have holidays for the sims 4 video if you want to go check that out I made a video featuring some holiday ideas for your game so I added midsummer which is like a cute summery party and then I also added Halloween. I'm not sure if there is already one that's gonna pop up in game, but now we have one. If there is one, you guys can let me know in the comments. And then I also added the Winter Welcome, which is another one that I made up. It's kind of just to get you in the holiday spirit. I wanted to use the Polar Bear Plunge tradition, and I think this would be a great time to bring out your Christmas decorations uh, just in time for Winterfest, which is just a couple days afterwards. I think I want to jump into Create a Sim quickly to just give you guys a little bit of a closer look into our three characters and all their outfits because I had so much fun making all of their outfits. They all have a bunch of them and the new cold and hot weather outfits as well. And yeah, let's just jump into Create a Sim. Here we go. The reshade can be quite bright in Create a Sim, so this is without it. Maybe I'll just use it for now, but if you guys think I should turn it off for Creative Sims, let me know. I don't think I'll be using it in Creative Sim videos, but just in this let's play, let me know if it's too bright for you guys. But anyways, her aspiration needs to be big happy family. That is what is in the rules and she gets the domestic um, trait from that. Um, what do you actually give us? Domestic Sims will see their fami f familial? 
that's the word? <laughs> we'll see their familial relationship grow stronger, faster. I also made her an outdoor sim and she also is creative. Like I said, she's kind of like a little hippie, very free spirited. She loves all nature and animals and I really like her style as well. This is her first outfit. It's like I said, girly, bohemian, hippie, bunch of those vibes going on. And she's kind of got this like pinkish hair color that I think is really cute. I'll show you guys some of her outfits. She's got three ones. These are for spring now. They'll be good for summer as well. This one's a bit more warm in case it's like raining or something. But I do, I did give them all this like rainy weather outfit as well because I thought it's really cute. I love the new raincoats from Seasons. This is her hot weather outfit, perfect for summer as well. And then this is her cold weather outfit. I love this so much. I love the beanies. This is Avery Shepard. Her childhood aspiration is social butterfly and she is a goofball. She's actually really cute. Her and her twin sister Haley, they are identical. So they do look exactly alike by their face, their facial features, etc. But obviously I gave them a bit of a different style and hairstyle, etc. But hey, here are her outfits. Kind of a lot of color, lots of yellows and purples. And this is her adorable swimwear outfit I hate when it changes her eyebrow color there we go did I say swimwear I don't know what I said but this is for obviously rainy weather how cute is this I love it so much she's just she's really cute and really sweet like I said and like such an innocent sweet child and then moving on to her sister Haley. she is a music lover I have some plans for her but yeah she's definitely gonna be causing us some trouble this is actually the hair that came from season somebody converted it for children so I decided to use it for Haley. And she's got some darker clothes. She does have some color as well, but definitely a bit more toned down than her sister Avery. So here are her outfits. I think she's really cute. I, yeah, I can't wait uh, to play with them. And I can also cannot wait for them to age up into teenagers. I just, I have so many things planned. And oh my God, how adorable is this outfit? I'm honestly in love. Look how cool she looks. Like, I know it's only spring, but I wish it was winter. I also wanted to show you guys some of the lots that I have put into the world. I definitely haven't customized everything yet and I'm still waiting for your guys' sims so I can fill out the household. But for some you know so far, I just changed the lounge here into a way different one. This one is so much cooler. Most of these are just from the gallery by looking under the most popular tag and then sorting by the community lot that I'm looking for. Here is my spring roller skate park. So we'll definitely be visiting this. I built this in a video just a few days ago or like last week or something. Um, here is a new library, which is really cool. I changed the gym. Here is a Starbucks, which looks amazing. I cannot wait to go there. Like literally, this is an amazing creation, like super talented. In Oasis Springs, we have a new laundromat diner. So this is really cool. You can go do your laundry here. I'm not sure if you actually can in The Sims, but you can try. And uh, it's a diner. And this one is by Tazreen Tasnim, and it looked amazing. So I cannot wait to go there. And then over here is a karaoke bar slash bowling alley slash arcade. Again, from the gallery, it looks amazing. Newcrest is pretty empty. I think I'm gonna be putting some residential homes in here too. But we have a cute little ice cream parlor. We have a breakfast restaurant, which is also adorable. We have a tiki bar. And then we have this like super amazing uh, Roman spa. So I, I wanna put more like these like fairy magical themed builds in here. Like, like if you guys saw these two, they're really cool. So this is gonna be a really fun world. I changed up this plaza up here. So we have a new library, which looks amazing. We have a new outdoor cinema, which is a cafe, but it's really freaking cool. And then we have a restaurant over here as well, which is a really nice one. I also changed down here. I moved the park to this side and I actually downloaded a new park, which is called the Family Park. And then I put this amazing cafe down. It's actually a restaurant, but on the gallery, it's called Moonbeam Cafe. And it is the most beautiful build I've ever seen. So excited to go there. 
Hi, Brindleton Bay. I just changed the lounge down here. It is now the Brindleton Yacht Club. So it is for the elite and it is a formal restaurant, but it's also like a kind of a cool yacht club hangout area. So I'm excited to see if Lola can somehow find her way in here. So that was a lot of information to throw at you guys, but this has definitely been more of like an introduction episode to the series. And now you guys know everything. I think we have a little bit of time to play before I end off this episode. Um, it's the girl's first day of school tomorrow. I don't actually know what happens if I just keep her from school all the time. Like, will she, will she get in trouble? I don't know, because I've never tried this challenge before. But we need some money. We have zero simoleons. So we cannot even buy any gardening, what are they called? Like seeds? Like these cost money. So... I guess the first thing we can do is like try to find some collectibles and I know there are those these these boxes you can find stuff in them like snow globes and then we could sell those all right let's see if Lola can actually find anything here oh see she found one city skyline snow globe okay how much does this sell for 10 well that's something, I guess. I think we should just go to another world where we can find, you know, those collectibles like the gems and whatever else you can mine out of the rocks because there really isn't that much here. All right, this is my park, but actually it has just started raining. Oh no, you can hold an umbrella while you're jogging. That is actually adorable. Okay, how do you, I think you can get an umbrella somehow from here. Play in the rain. Oh my god, play in the rain? What does that do? Oh, is she? Oh my god, that's so cute. She's running around in the rain. Oh, that's adorable. You are so... <laughs> you are so cute, Haley. I was trying to see how they get an umbrella, but you guys don't mind. Do they actually get, like, soaked? Hold on. Okay, so here is the explore mod. So you can do a bunch of stuff. A lot of it costs money, so we can't do it right now. How do I pull out an umbrella? I actually have no idea. Is it cold? It's just cool. Well, that's okay. Well, you guys do whatever you want. I'm just gonna see if there are any collectibles here already. Wait, what? I did not know these randomly spawn. Okay, well, there is another roller skating rink right there, but that is not as cool <laughs> as the one I have built here. Let me roam around for some collectibles uh, while these guys enjoy the rain. Are you okay? Why can't I? Oh my gosh, she went roller skating in the rain. That is so cute, Haley. Oh my God, that's adorable. Okay, I found something to dig here. She also found a hypno frog from one of those tree trunks. So we can sell that. Is there anything else? All right, please get us something good. This is like the only thing here to mine. I need something. Okay, we have 30. How do we all get 35 simoleons? That seems like nothing. Oh, there's another one of those places to look for frogs. Oh no. Well, this thing is worth more sold before opening it. So hey, we got 70 simoleons. That's actually not bad. She's made over 100 simoleons in just a couple of hours. Like if I did that, I would be pretty happy. Oh, look, we even have more things. While Lola is off looking, we can just follow Haley for a bit. I do think, especially, well, Lola, I think, is the most upset of what happened with their parents. The fact that they are in prison. These girls were still a bit too young to understand, and they don't know what foster care is. They just know that Lola told them to pack their bags, take their most important belongings, and they hop hopped on in a bus and they came into this new city. They don't know anyone here. Pretty sure the girls are nervous for their first day of school tomorrow, but I'm excited to see what happens. And you know, maybe one day we'll see their parents again. Like you never know, like they got a few years in prison at least, but you never know, they're, they're quite, quite crafty. What did you find? So we have, what is this? Oh my God, 10 simoleons, really? That's all? And then we found a fossil rock that is worth 50. All right, Lola is running off to dig up one more thing that I found, but I think that's it. It is getting a little bit late. It is 8.30 p.m. So we're gonna head home. We're gonna buy some seeds so we can start off on our garden, which is exciting. He's wearing a Christmas hat, okay. And <laughs> yeah, then we'll put the girls to sleep. Uh, next time will be their first day in school. That must be another capsule. So that's all right, 70 simoleons. Uh, let's go home. 
So they're all a little bit hungry, so I think Lola should make some dinner quickly for us, hopefully not start a fire, and then we can just uh, start the garden and go to sleep. All right, we're gonna cook up some grilled cheese sandwiches. Lola isn't much of a cook yet, but she's definitely, she loves her sisters a lot. I think she's gonna be a great mother figure for them now that their actual mother is in prison, but she still has a lot to learn, as you guys can see. <laughs> but that's okay, at least she didn't start a fire. Our house is safe for now. Well, this is a cute little uh, family. <laughs> family dinner it's it's really late oh my god it's 10 p.m i didn't even notice it's 10 p.m well they're just gonna chat a little while and we're gonna get some seeds we have 225 simoleons left that is plenty to get started on some seeds now what is the most profitable thing i think it must be some vegetables i'm pretty sure it used to be like blackberries or something not sure if it has changed but we'll start with those i don't think we can grow any fruit trees on our balcony so let's just get some vegetables two packages should be more than enough and then we'll just have her open those once she's done with her food i'm pretty sure lola is just telling the girls that it's all gonna be okay their parents their parents will be okay as well she wants to believe that she she's really shocked still from what happened she cannot believe that her parents have committed fraud also she changed her eyebrow color again girl what are you doing <laughs> okay so we've got a lots of new veggies we got carrots what the heck is this green peas oh it's a seasonal one we got 12 of them that seems like a lot well i'm gonna plant two of those uh let's get the one carrot thing we don't have a lot of space this is um what is this even oh a bell pepper it's a summer season oh what about this fall and spring and then you fall and spring okay well i'm gonna do let's do two bell peppers and uh, let's have her just plant all of these can we tuck these girls in oh we can let's go tuck in the twins and let's put lola to bed as well she is really tired it is 12 30 a.m but first of all we need to tuck them in i think this is a really cute interaction so here we go i'm gonna be leaving the first part of the big sister challenge right here it was more of an introduction part so you guys get an idea of what's gonna be happening in the series if you have any ideas for storylines etc let me know in the comments and if there's any lots on the gallery you think it would be perfect let me know their names or creators down below and make sure if you want to see your sims in this series walking around town getting friends with our girls here put them on the gallery with minimal cc under the hashtag for eliandra I, I will be putting them in my game make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're excited for a new let's play challenge and subscribe if you're new here i post new videos every single day thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you're having a great day i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye this